Hey, everyone. Such a pleasure always to come speak to you. I'm so daggum busy. It's, you know, but you know, we've rescheduled everything. And so this week is yours. I get to go through this hunk of pile of questions. Uh, and I hope I get to yours uh, as soon as I can. I really appreciate all your questions. And I know you're some of you are really going through some hard times, and you, I'm with you. I'm, I'm right there with you. And just remember, it just takes a little while to, to hydrate and to get that lymph moving in all those small interstitial spaces around all your cells. And you got to get your kidneys filtered. Now, with a little help from my friend here, my little baby friend, here, this here is a local papaya, and uh, it's a beauty, ain't it? This tree is bearing 10, 12 papayas constantly. Excellent. I'll be with you later, dear. <laughs> Kelly. Kelly, Kelly, Kelly. I'm sure there's a lot of you. Kelly, I love you too. Thank you for this. Uh, you're a sweetheart, honey. I appreciate that. I love you too. Thank you. I appreciate that. And uh, she's uh, just saying how she's had uh, some good times. So thanks, Kelly. Being love is right. That's what you do, is you be love. Now this, I read this and I asked for the eyes, and sure enough, you sent me the eyes. So who is this? This is Desiree. Hi, Desiree. Now, uh, this is a 20-year-old female from South Africa. Uh, doctors have put her on antibiotics more than seven times. See, they just don't get it. You don't kill the messengers. You go after the same thing they're going after. You're going after sewage and lymph. Acids, that's what bacteria is going after, proteins, eat more of them, you know. So it's just, people just are fixated, and the sad thing is, they're trying to ruin everything because of this fixation that medical doctors have, and not curing anything. So they have to blame God some way, and if you blame bacteria for everything, that's a problem. Now this is the lady, let me go over, I've already read hers on the last one, so let's go ahead and let me look at your eyes. And this is for Desiree Rath. She's from South Africa. Let me show you her eyes. I can't do the Drew thing today. He's busy out there. But I want to show you this. That's her uh, right eye. And this is her left eye. Notice the nerve rings in there. See all those rings? Those are nerve rings. And uh, that means your adrenals are, are, are down, sweetheart. And I'll, I'll say this. You got pretty good genes here. Most of what I am seeing is chronic lymph stuck in certain tissues. Those are generally the little genetically weaker tissues. Uh, definitely chronic bowels. Anything that's real dark in your eyes, that dark brown, that's where your your lymph is the most, and it's heavy around the gut and stomach area. You've got some areas in the head. You're starting to build up in the left eye around the cerebellum area here. Be careful there. That's equilibrium dizziness stuff. Uh, also, on the right um, right side, you've got cerebellum as well. Uh, lymph, that, that's acids equals inflammation, uh, you know, equals all kinds of problems, from pain to swelling to all kinds of problems there. But uh, clean your bowels out really good. I think your transverse colon is keeping you from draining here real well. The rest of your body looks like it's coming cleaner. Uh, the left... Uh, the left kidney is just really uh, full of lymph. It's chronically lymphatic bump. So you have a chronic kidney on the uh, left side. Now, weakness-wise, hard to determine the weakness here, but definitely chronic lymph and bob, chronic in your uh, part of the leg, also the um, a groin on that side. With that said, on the right side, same type of thing. Kidney's much better, though, on that side. Uh, it looks like the leg is not moving, you're not moving that lymph out of that kidney enough, so the leg's kind of backing up there a little bit. Yeah. Probably a little bit of the hip as well. But uh, if I look at pancreas and gallbladder, it'd probably be a good idea just to clean out your gallbladder, liver, and the pancreas, get that all cleaned up. Uh, thyroid, throat, a lot of lymphatic stuff going on there. But in terms of weakness cells and stuff, you got nice fibers, strong constitution. Uh, sometimes you don't feel, a lot of people don't feel their strength because they feel so inflamed. This is the lymph system. And surprisingly so, a lot of you guys are very strong constitution people. And you're one of them, uh, sweetheart, but you've got a lot of lymph going on here. 
You get a skin ring somewhat, so you're not eliminating well out of the skin. So you want to kick that up. But those nerve rings, say so you have chronic adrenals, and, and so in the family genes for quite a while. This is going to trip down the uh, kidneys. It's just not going to let them filter well. So go after your adrenals and, and your kidneys. But that lymph system is key for your focus. And you're lucky you don't have a lot of things to focus on, but you do have lymph. You've got to get this head drained or you get that equilibrium and all kinds of problems there. So you want to take care of that. But thanks for the eyes. You get great pictures here for me to see. And uh, they really look good. Your spleen is really backed up. You really just got to take off after your lymph system. And I also would do upper circ for a little while. Get up in here with some good blood. But also, um, brain and nerve. Brain and nerve number two would be something I would use because you have an excessive amount of nerve rings. And this is the autonomic. So, in reality, you have low blood pressure, could have low blood sugars. If you're experiencing high blood pressure, then your kidneys are going down, you know. But the, uh, this is a case with that many nerve rings where you have really low blood pressure. So, you have kind of a setup here. When you see MS, Lou Gehrig's, things like this, the setup is this. First, weak adrenals. Hard to charge up the nervous system. Low neural transmitters, that's low blood pressure. Generally speaking, 100 or below. Hard to charge up the nervous system with that. In a long-term genetic uh, area, you lose your myelin sheath. With that said, also the cerebellum is involved in most MS cases where there's equilibrium and dizzy, drop foot, things like this. With that said, of course, in the brain, then you start getting brain lesions. You've got pretty strong cells, so I don't know. Uh, you, you, you should be okay with all of that. Just get your nervous system back on board. Get those adrenals up. Get your kidneys filtering. And you should be pretty good to go there, Desiree. Focus on the lymph system. Nice eyelashes, by the way. Yeah, let me see who this is from. Gregory. Uh, none of the words can express my... Oh, wow. Gratitude for your work. I see the little pictures behind you. Indeed, you are. Ah, <laughs> oh, thanks. I'm, I'm trying. You know, it's just... We're all bucking a system that's got this planet in trouble. And this it's not just the AMA. It's the whole consciousness of treatment-based thinking. So we have to lift our awareness up out of that consciousness into what's causing these problems, which is a natural expression. When the AMA asks that, they're asking with a cloud of understanding to begin with. So there's no connecting dots. For those medical doctors that are more spiritual and more awake and watching their clients and really sincere about